warriors and sorcerers so what is happening in the world at this moment and how you can survive this world war three better so let's take an example of what is happening in eastern europe you must understand that uh, having the dominion over the races over the races that can survive cold temperatures like the white race the chinese race the, the koreans the japanese and so on having the dominion when the demon has mastery over them that's how it rules the reality because these races have telepathic abilities you understand so when white people hunt or when when white people go to war they can telepathically connect white men with each other and they can synchronize the same with the chinese the same with the koreans and so on so all those races that live in the cold have that ability to telepathically connect so when we are concerned with the white race we can see that basically basically majority of the white race has fallen has fallen to the corona pandemic okay to the corona pandemic and that um, and that they have believed in the bullshit okay uh, however the eastern europeans did not fall for it the balkan people did not fall for it and the eastern europeans did not fall for it and then and then the matrix program encouraged by me making my prepper compound and the matrix program needs to revert to something else because the pandemic is not working and it's reward it's um, going to firearms war to the firearms war in the balkans it's hard to do it because uh, the the last war was very intense here 25 years ago and people are not people are not so stupid and gullible when it comes to when it comes to the war they are not so stupid and um, to the firearms war and they will not fall for it, for it easily okay you cannot bamboozle them because they got burned okay 25 years ago they got burned the serbs were promised uh, beautiful future the croats beautiful the bosnian beautiful everybody got a piece of shit and they were privatized by foreign owners and they are now horrible slaves working for foreign bosses so it's not so easy since they were burned 25 years ago it's not so easy to bamboozle them again okay it's not so easy to bamboozle them again even though even though the control system would like to do it but they can bamboozle the russians and the ukrainians because the last big war the last big war was long ago so they can bamboozle them and poor ukrainians believe that uh, they will have beautiful future in the west um, uh, beautiful future beautiful american dream which uh, never existed by the way uh, and uh, have you ever met somebody living an american dream and uh, they they have fallen for it and uh, since they were not really following the corona pandemic this is their punishment of course encouraged by me who made a super prepper compound in order to to provoke the matrix system into reaction to downgrade from the pandemic into the war scenario ukraine war scenario which for me and my clients is much better because it's much easier to evade firearms war than than it is to evade the mask mandate the vaccination mandate and the lockdowns much easier so that's what's gonna what's gonna happen to you if you live in an area where big number of people i think in eastern europe in the balkans 50 percent of people imagine that 50 percent of people that means serfs because everybody is a serf everywhere they rejected the vaccine imagine that imagine that. i didn't think the serfs were that smart this must be turning into a beautiful reality 50 percent of them understand that imagine that 50 percent of course if you are living in prison country canada prison country australia open prison united kingdom the number is a bit less okay it's not 50 percent but uh, that's that's uh, even five percent is a great number and and um, uh, what happened is that uh, uh, they got punished they got punished in eastern europe by this war that means that means that uh, you've got to prepare on two fronts 
first front is your individual preparedness. What does that mean? That means you must be useful to everybody. Instead of being an artist, be a software programmer for security. Okay? Make a transition. It will take you some time. Make a transition. In the 90s, in the early 90s, my old lion, my old lion mentor, he escaped the war and he, he, he had to go to Vukovar, but he, he escaped the Vukovar because he was smuggling and making laser targeting devices for the army. And back then that was top technology. Today, today it's probably drones. Okay, it's probably drones. So put yourself in a position where you are useful to everybody. That means whatever problem happens, is it the vaccine mandate, the firearms war, alien invasion, invasion, whatever they put upon us, you'll be useful. But you must also help others. Not because you love the serfs, not because, not because you're going to sacrifice yourself for the serf. No, 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 no. You are helping them in order to help you and your family. Because you are the only one who can do it. You are the only one. They, they cannot do it. They are incapable. For example, for example, there was a big parade, military style, several months ago. You have it all in my channel. Where thousands of men walked in union like a military the only place in the world, the only place in the world where that happened. The only place. And because of their surf inadequacy, they did not have a photographer. I had to photograph them. I had to do it. There is nobody else. I had two professional photographers, my allies, and they chickened out. They were too afraid. Like, oh, what if, uh, what if uh, friends see me photographing, they will think I'm an extremist. So they, they were not even fearful of the government seeing them, but friends seeing them, okay? That's even worse. Even worse fear. Like, what if my friends see me photography? So, I had to make photographs and I, I'm not a good photographer, but I have, um, like, this um, mirrorless camera and I put it on auto, in auto mode and those photos are the best thing ever, okay? They are the best thing ever for the resistance to, to encourage the resistance in the whole world. Or, for example, another case, you have these special stickers, I will not tell you exactly about them, because I do not want to tell secrets to the monster, but you have these special, secrets, uh, special stickers that um, dehypnotize, dehypnotize the person because of their emotional message, they have emotional message. And everywhere in the world, usually like old ladies, old ladies are putting in those stickers, not because old ladies are especially brave, but because the men are not existent. There, there is no more men in the Western world. They have been destroyed. Their balls have been crushed. So uh, they put these stickers and they put like five to ten stickers and then they are so happy. You have to do it massive. You have to put 200 stickers in one run. And you have to have 20 people doing that to cover a city. When you do it, you have your weapons left in the real world the serfs are too shamed too ashamed to take them down only the biggest serfs will invest the the energy to take them down and uh, stickers really work there is like this beautiful sticker of a guy um, with a mask and on the mask it says i trust everything on tv and he's in stress and i hid i hid myself after putting that sticker and here comes a zombie with a mask to his eyes. He sees the stickers and he puts it down. So with the stickers, you can locally, that is important, locally influence your shop owner, your postman, your school. Okay, that's what you want. You want to handle things locally, not post in some telegram group and help a person in Japan. You understand? You understand? So you have to take that. There is nobody else beside us. Who can help this resistance you understand the resistance is doing everything what they can in their limited capacity they have limited capacity they are not warriors and sorcerers so you have to work on both fronts you have to secure yourself 
privately and also secure yourself by helping the resistance around you okay don't be lazy some of my clients were lazy so they did not join the resistance they did not help the, of course when you join the resistance you must provide them a cover story because they don't have the capacity capacity to hear all your life story you will burn them just make downplay make a weaker version of yourself and join them and help them okay with a little bit tweaking with a little bit help they can be super effective okay they can be super effective and then can, they can then throw the wrench into the machine okay very good now now uh, what i advise all my clients to advise the resistance is uh, keep reminding people of the vaccine mandate of the mask mandate don't be so focused on the ukraine war fraud because that is easily avoidable not easily but much more easier much more easily avoidable good okay for those of you living in open prisons i have clients in canada united kingdom now it's horrible there but but remember the enemy can also send you zombified soldiers you understand you understand so while it is horrible there the actual soldier coming to get you so one thing is the rules okay one thing is the like rules in, in toronto they're horrible okay they're they're horrible if you if you read those rules you can think oh let me kill myself now but uh, remember a human has to enforce those rules and that human is so weak he he hates himself okay he hates himself so those rules are not easily enforceable because the reality has passed a tipping point for example in the 70s in the 60s let's say in the 60s uh, where um, the enforcer of the bad rules was strong enough to actually enforce them because if you have a negative society program matrix control which has become more and more negative after the first world war second world war at one point its own soldiers are consumed by it and that is a happy news for us because they don't have actually the power the energy to enforce those bad rules because they hate themselves look at look at the typical soldier of the west he has diabetes his uh, wife is sick because of the vaccine side effect does he have children if he has they have allergies um, his son wants to self-identify as a girl that soldier is he's disgusted he hates himself you understand he hates himself and uh, he's probably overweight uh, like um, uh, his wife indulges in spending on things he cannot afford so so that enforcer that enforcer is not a really good enforcer you understand so in practice with my clients in australia in united kingdom in toronto canada uh, while at first glance the situation seems hopeless uh, the matrix command has the power to hypnotize has the power to market over digital systems but does not have a real power to enforce it can it can make movies okay it can make movies about those the soldiers of benghazi have you seen that movie like the soldiers of benghazi like they they, they some american mercenaries are are like surrounded in benghazi and then they are they're like every day they lift weights they look great and like um, 10 of them can defeat like uh, 
300 rack heads because they are so smart, they're so superior. That is a movie. You understand? That is a movie. <laughs> it's not actually like that in reality. It's not actually like that. It is, it is far worse because those soldiers, they hate themselves. Okay, they, they hate. You must understand in totalitarian armies and totalitarian societies, and that is the West, the soldiers hate their own officers, their own secret police, more than they hate the enemy. And uh, they need to be distanced from the enemy at all times. They can never, they must never come physically close to the enemy. Usually it's 20 meters. Because if they were, if they were to come physically close, they could maybe understand that the enemy is less problem for them than their own commander. Okay, than their own commander. So that is what you have to do. Those police officers, okay? Police officers will guard the protest. They will come with stupid masks the first time. Talk with them. They, they, they hate their ruler. Talk with them for five minutes. You will see after three times you do that, give them some stickers and so on, they will take off the masks. And sooner than you think, they will stop traffic for you so you can have a nice walk with your protest in the town. Sooner than you think, they will be your spies. They will sabotage the system from the inside. So take that uh, leap. Don't believe the soldiers of Benghazi that the enemy is like that, super powerful. Also, don't believe the false resistance, which is pumping out stories like crazy. Several <laughs> years ago, it was American president that will save us with his um, attacks on the underground bases that he has a Q plan. Today is the Russian president who is um, destroying the underground bases in Ukraine, where laboratories is, is that look like Resident Evil laboratories, you know, the computer game Resident Evil. And that demonic woman, is it Mila Jovic? Demonic woman? So, they have this fantasy that in, in Eastern Ukraine, there is hidden laboratories, which will be uncovered by the Russian army. But if, if there were really underground hidden laboratories, uh, why didn't they put them on the west of Ukraine? Not close to the Russian border so they can easily take them and prove to the world how menacing and evil things have been done in Ukraine. So here you have it, for instance, officers. Now you know the basic guidelines to survive the World War III and prosper. If you want to learn more, contact me. And now it's time to throw the wrench into the machine.